Your dog's name is Blue Ginger? She's actually a trained sous chef, and she has a mini apron. She hangs out with me in the kitchen. All right, welcome to Next Level Kitchen, where we're elevating your cooking skills to the next level by teaching you the skills and tricks to make some next level dishes. Absolutely. And I know some of you are wondering what to do with leftover wine at home. But we've got you covered with pasta. There it is. And some of you are like, what do you mean leftover wine? I never <laughs> exactly. have wine left over. Well, the perfect vessel for your wine leftovers is pasta. But before we get cooking, let's get to level one. You're cooking in? White wine, yes. OK. What are you using today? I'm using red wine. Oh, my goodness. So you like cooking with white wine? Um, in this application, yes. I also enjoy cooking with red wine. Uh, same. I like cooking with both. I love that red wine's a simple sauce, right? Yes. So red wine, sugar, and onion yes. in a pan. Yes. 20 minutes later is a nice sauce for a steak, maybe, right? All day or long. a little bit to deglaze a pan if you're braising some meat, some short ribs, beef, anything like a that. A bolognese. A bolognese, absolutely, absolutely, right? Absolutely. And white wine? Yeah, I mean, for me, I think white wine lends itself really well to like lighter meats like fish, chicken. And clams, which and I see you're about to clams. cook. Exactly. One of my favorite ingredients. Listen, I'm from Long Island, New York, where clams are king, I feel yes, like. Yes, yes. There's so much flavor in clams. But you're going to tell us all about that. Absolutely. I'm going to start mine over here, Naisha. I'm going to cook with red wine. And I saw this on social media. I'm so excited about and this. And I'm not embarrassed to be like, I saw this on social media, yeah. and I'm going to give it a try. I am going to cook my pasta in red wine. But it's a whole bottle of red wine. And like this, this doesn't have to be super expensive, fancy red wine. Uh, but uh, again, this is shocking to me. I would never do this as a classically trained chef. OK. But I'm just going to heat up my wine. And I'm going to use bucatini, which is Love a, a hollowed sort of thick uh, noodle right here. And I'm going to let that cook in my, my red wine until the red wine evaporates and the pasta is done. Wow, I'm so excited to see how this turns out. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Me I'm going to start slicing my aromatics here. I have some shallot. I also have some Fresno chilies. And I have some garlic. Voila. What you got, Chef? Amazing, yeah. So I'm, again, my, my pasta has to cook. And as the, uh, as the red wine heats up here, I'm just making sure that I get all of my noodles uh, submerged in that red wine. Because you know when you first add your, your spaghetti, or in this case, the bucatini, to the water, you know, the ends of it don't, aren't quite submerged. So sure. I'm just going to make sure that I get that cooked down in the red wine. And just like you, I'm going to start all of my other ingredients so that when the pasta's done, I can just do a quick little pan sauce. Oh, I love that. Pasta's all about like a la minute finishes, isn't it? Absolutely. And my, I'm using actually a linguine today, so mine will take a little bit less time. Um, I'm going to start to drop my pasta. And so by the time my aromatics are cooked and my clams take no time, uh, the pasta will be ready to go. All right, so I'm chopping up some uh, a little bit of red jalapenos over here. And mine's going to be simple. It's going to be chilies, garlic, and a little bit of pancetta. I'm going to chop up this pancetta, basically Italian bacon, rosemary, black pepper. But if you don't have pancetta, you can use bacon or, quite honestly, any salty pork product that you have at home. Guanciale, yum. All right, so I got that chopping up. I have my pancetta. I'm waiting for my pasta to cook down. Well, look at us getting our mise en place organized over here. Look at us. Uh, getting ch chilies. Again, all of these flavors. Spice. I'm getting salt from the uh, pancetta. You're getting salt from? Clams, Your the clams. brininess. I'm getting salt from the ocean. Thanks, ocean. From uh, the ocean. Yes. And so uh, with this, I'm not worrying about my knife cuts. I'm not worried about slicing a perfect, beautiful brunoise. No, I just want a nice, easy little clam dish to use up the leftover white wine that I have from my dinner yesterday. All right, so you're getting your pan sauce going. Yep. And, and there we go. I'm getting. I'm making sure that this bucatini gets down into the sauce and cooks away down there. And so with the garlic, I'm just going to do a little crush. I don't want to chop, chop it too much. I want. I really want that rusticness in this, right? And with the clams, it's so quick. The most beautiful part about clams is cooking them quickly. You do not want them to become tough. So you want a nice hot smoking pan, and it's really just a toss, and it's it takes no time at all. And again, when you're cooking with clams, or over here I'm cooking with a pancetta as a cook, yes. remembering that they're salty. Absolutely. Right? Uh, I'm going to also finish with some Parmesan cheese over here, another salty ingredient. Love that. So just being mindful that we're not over-seasoning things. Makes sense. OK, chef, so I'm going with the, in with aromatics. Straight away, you want that ASMR, right? You want that sizzle, right? And it's a dump, yes. right? You want that to heat up, and then in goes the white wine. 
boom, 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 easy peasy, done, done, done. So those are gonna steam and my pasta's gonna go in right directly into this pan. One of the most important elements is thinking about the carryover cook, right? Because I really want this pasta to soak up that delicious and natural juice that these clams are gonna get off. So I don't wanna cook my pasta all the way through. I wanna cook it just to al dente. All right, so you got the clam steaming over there. Yes. I have a little bit of olive oil, but not a lot. I'm gonna add all of my pancetta. That pancetta oh. is gonna render, but look at this, after, you know, minutes of cooking. Ah! It is so pretty. It's so pretty. It's a jewel tone. I am shocked it's so at pretty. how good looking that pasta looks right there. Now, again, cooked in the red wine. You can smell the red wine. Good thing here is May that, taste? yeah, please, that the red wine, the alcohol's cooked out, mm. right? So if you're, if you're thinking about eating this at home, like the alcohol, as it reduces, it cooks away. Wow. Um, so what do you think? Incredible. Incredible. I'm taking notes, Chef. Okay, well, man, I, this is the first time I'm doing it, so I'm taking notes as well. <laughs> I got my pancetta rendering. I want that to get nice and crispy. You had mentioned it when you were over there uh, chopping something. You were like, you know, Italian food, it, it, it doesn't have to be so... It, uh, what I love about it is that it's so fluid. Yes. And it doesn't have to be like brunoise. It can just be like rough chop, right? There's just such a great fluidity to Italian cuisine. A hundred percent. I can't wait to chopped. get to Italy because I think it's, yeah, it's all about the ingredients, right? I think that that's one of the beautiful things about the Italian cuisine is it's really about a celebration of like really amazing ingredients. Absolutely. Done so, well. So there we go. My pancetta cooked out, getting nice and crispy. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the rest of my ingredients in here. Your pasta's cooking away. Yep. Uh, again, I want to get these nice and crispy here. Love uh, that. Now I'll add some of my chilies. All right, so again, salty pork, spicy chilies. Oh my gosh. A little bit of garlic is gonna come in here as well. I'm just gonna toss in a little bit of butter. A little bit of <laughs> I butter. I couldn't go too classic. No, I love that, by yeah, the way. Yeah, a lot of butter. And, <laughs> and like, listen, I noticed also, you're gonna get to it, right? But like, I noticed that there is a big chunk of Parmesan over on Yes, there is. I, With this clams? Is, yes, I know. It's like, it's my take on a pasta. What are your thoughts on cheese with clams? Listen, I, again, as a native New Yorker, even though I'm, I, there's no Italian in my DNA, yeah. uh, you've heard the saying that you don't use cheese with, with seafood Every or time. shellfish. But I, I totally would. disagree. I could not disagree more, actually. If, if it tastes good, it tastes Dude, good. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, some rules are meant to be broken. I also feel like if you know the rules, you can, like, break them, you know? That's true. It, it that's just so has to true. taste delicious. It's about experience, okay? Mm. Mm. All right, there we go. That smells amazing Thank over there. Thank you. I'm going to add my pasta in. It's al dente. Same. You got your pasta. I'm going to add my pasta over here as Love well. Love that. Look how beautiful this looks. I'm I... actually so shocked. Oh. Like I might I might actually do this at one of my restaurants. Oh, it's so pretty. Listen, I have my pancetta, my chili, my garlic. Yes. And then the pasta, as you're doing, as I'm doing, it comes straight from the pan that it was cooked in right to the sauce. Wow. Do not rinse your pasta under cold water like Never. my mom would do. Peggy did not know exactly how to cook authentic Italian food. Aww. And again, if you rinse your pasta, the sauce oh doesn't stick to it, right? That's why we're not running any water under it. There wow. it is. Uh, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. I think we're, I'm, I'm almost ready to plate. How are you doing? Yeah, almost ready to plate. Just want these flavors to sort of marry up together. Finish with a little bit of fresh parsley. I love that, I love that. I think we should open up a pasta restaurant. Chef, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I mean, this is nice next fresh level olive right here. oil. Oh, it's so a pretty. Bit of a bowl. I'm not gonna get crazy with the presentation. I'm just gonna go sort of right to the plate. Get all of that on there. Get all of that flavor. And then whatever's left in the pan, like get all those little bits, the chilies, the pancetta. Little, little drizzle of olive oil around it. Listen, one of the things I love about presenting a uh, pasta dish is like, just let it go to the plate. Totally. Like you can swirl it, you can do all of those things, but like it's meant to go from the pan to the plate. Totally. Really, really simple. Let it fall. I always tell my chefs, let it fall like it fell from the sky. Oh, I love that. That perfectly imperfect look. Now, of course, it parachuted very gently exactly where I wanted it to go as a chef, but let it fall. Totally. And then a little bit of this shaved Parmesan, which is nice and sweet and salty. You can never have too much. Yum. I want to drink that broth oh, over there. Oh, yes. Little cheese, the piece they resist. There it is, there it is. Okay, bring it over here. You got the cheese. I'll give mine a little cheese, too. Down oh, double to the cheese, du du Double cheese. Ah, oh, then it, it melts is. in and kind of makes a rich sauce. 
Oh, I love that. It's nice and salty. Linguine and clams with white wine sauce. Just for you, it's your favorite dish. Bucatini cooked in red wine. This is what to do with your leftover wine. Now that's how you make a next level dish. To get ingredients and more details on the recipes from today, check the description below. And be sure to subscribe for more episodes of Next Level Kitchen.